the work that we've been doing with the Angular team, I, I'm sure all of you noticed that, that, that we announced uh, a partnership with the Angular team uh, some, some months ago. And rather than have me talk about why this, why this partnership is, is wonderful, uh, I thought I would bring up uh, a couple of team members from the Angular team. So it's uh, uh, a big pleasure for me to, to introduce to you uh, Brad Green and uh, Misko Hevery uh, from the Google Angular team. And they're going to talk a little bit about why they're using TypeScript. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Good to see you. Okay, Misko. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Anders. Well, Mishko, why don't you tell folks a little bit about how we got started with TypeScript? Right. So about a year ago, we thought it was a good idea to announce a new language called AdScript. Uh, it was the best of JavaScript, best of TypeScript, and plus annotations. That's right. Soon after that announcement, we started chatting with Anders and other folks on the team about potentially merging our language work. Last March, we invited Jonathan from the TypeScript team to our main developers conference where we announced that we had completely merged efforts and we would be replacing all of AtScript with TypeScript and our work for Angular 2. I couldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> I am relieved that we don't have to deliver a framework and a language. <laughs> Me too, man. Me too. All right, but as I remember, not too long ago, you weren't actually that big of a fan of types in JavaScript, right? That's true. You know, it's funny because I come from a Java background and there's plenty of types in Java. And when I went to move to JavaScript, it turns out I was able to build application without types. And so I thought, you know, this type stuff was kind of overrated and who needs them anyways. But it turns out as the team grew and it got larger and we got more contributors, it kind of actually became useful to have types around. Yeah, well, tell folks why is that. So there's uh, several reasons why that is. First of all, documentation. You know, types gives you names for things. You have a common vocabulary, common mental model, and just being able to refer to things is just a win-win for everybody. Uh, the next thing is when you're building an application with a framework, there's a lot of contract between a framework and what you have to do with the application. Having some kind of a tool, a compiler, to verify these contracts is very useful. Uh, lastly, we're big uh, fans of writing unit tests. Uh, and we write tests first and doing it everywhere. But we found that even with lots of due diligence and testing, we still found that type system would help find many issues that we didn't notice. And then the last point is having an IDE that can help us with completion and getting around the code and just finding out where things are declared is super useful. And this is extra useful for bringing people who are new to the project on board. That's right. So today, Angular 2 is built using TypeScript, not AppScript. The optional types allow us to build versions of Angular for folks who want to use TypeScript, but also folks who want to use tomorrow's version of JavaScript, ECMAScript 6, or today's version of JavaScript, ECMAScript 5. And we wouldn't be able to do it easily the other way around. So the type exosystem is great, and we'd like to encourage web developers to build their libraries using type so that everybody could benefit. Uh, we're happy to talk about our uh, experience doing this, so please come and chat with us afterwards. Just this week, we moved Angular 2 project from alpha to developer preview, and we've got a new website, complete with examples. There's a developer's guide and an API documentation. All the examples are in TypeScript. Please come check it out at angular.io. We think it's pretty cool. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks guys. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Awesome.